Welcome back. War of Words dominated a church service in Ngego, Kiambu County, as the top Kiambu leaders accused Governor Ferdinand Waititu of interference. This follows Waititu's move to pay off 400 shillings to over 5,000 alcoholic addicts daily who are being rehabilitated. Kiambu Senator Kimani Wamatangi questioned the credibility of the process of allocating the funds. Walakini, Governor Wetu, wakati unasikia wa matangi ya naungea kuhusu utaratibu wa vile tutatumia zile pesa ambazo tunapatia wale vijana wakati wamefanya kazi kazi yangu kama senator ile nyinyi mulilipatia ni ya kuhakisha ya kwamba tunafuata mtaratibu fulani wa zile pesa kupatikana pesa hiyo imekatwa kwa hawa hawa diyo metuwa kodi na hawa zaza diyo anazema mi niyetele kupea vijana Iyo shiriki miya ine, iyo pesa ni yao. Siyo ya viongozi. Mutu ukiwa mechaguliwa wewe sasa peka fairi yako. Fanya muradi yako. Kwa huku chaguliwa ukuje upigane na waititu. Saida ya watu walikuchagua, walikuwa na ujua wewe unataka kazi. Ulisema unataka kazi. Huku sema mina chaguliwa nikapigane na gavana. Still in Kambu, Kambu Deputy Governor James Nyoro has accused his boss, Ferdinand Waititu, of frustrating him. Nyoro says Waititu was a dictator who flouts the county government act at will, warning that the county activities were headed to a halt unless the governor changed his unorthodox leadership style. The constitution is very clear. Section 179, subsection 1 is very, very clear that the vested authority of the county, the, authority, the vested authority of the management of the county is within the county executive committee. It goes on to define who the county executive committee is. It says is the governor, the deputy governor, and all the CECs. What has been happening in Kiambu has been a one-man show. It has been a one-man show. There has not been any consultation between the governor and the county executive members, and particularly the deputy governor. All the controversial issues that we are having today, including the so-called alcoholic bill, the implementation of it, I want to be told what cabinet memo was done in order to make that to be implemented. Now, Muranga South Deputy County Commissioner has raised concern over the rising number of women engaging in the sale of bang. Uh, the DCC, Titus Masharia, decried the minimal punishment culprits get whenever they get to court. Speaking at Kamahoha during a public baraza, Masharia said he's alarmed over the numerous uh, drinking dens now overtaking learning institutions in terms of numbers. Maragua Member of Parliament, Mary Waidera and Jiroge urged religious leaders to join in the war against drugs. Tunia banki. Kwa uzaji wa banki wala wakubwa ni akina mama. Akina mama ndiyo mnauza banki. Eh? Usizame hapana. Kitu maapaleka hapa kikigumu. Hata juzi nikuwa naambia magistrate. Hakimu. Usiwana mama ya mekuja hapa analia na zama oo ni nanyonyesha. Hao ndiyo wanaharibu wa toto wetu. Ambiwa kirabu yako pahali hiko haitafa juu hiko karibu na shule hiko karibu na poma za watu na wewe unaendelea kuona kama ni fitina sasa unaenda murango nyuma kupereka pesa dio upatiwe iyo license dio wanze kuuza wacha kujipenda wacha kuona pesa angalia mwanainchi angalia watoto wetu angalia wanze Makoyu traffic police have netted six vehicles transporting Mira for speeding along Makuyu Canal Highway area OCPD. John Onditi confirmed a public outcry over the recklessness of drivers ferrying Mira. Yeah, I want to ask you something. 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 Yeah, I want to 
Tunaomba wale ambaye wanahusika madreva ambaye wanaendesha wanaendesha gari ya kubeba mira ya kwamba waende kwa njia ya taratibu na waheshimu wa pitaji wa barabara au watumiaji wa barabara wengine kwa sababu watu wote wana haki ya kutumia barabara Still on our top story, and that is the NYS scandal and the suspects who have been arraigned in court, 13 of them. Let's go over there live at the Milimani Law Court, so where they're currently having their charges read out and taking plea. Let's listen. Yeah. Count number 13 is for Wellington again Kubira. Mm -hmm. The charge is abuse of office, contrary to section 46, afraid with section 48, subsection 1 of the Anti Corruption and Economic Crimes Act No. 3, 2003. The particulars are on diverse dates between 4th November 2016 and 12th May 2017 at the Ministry of Public Service, Youth and Gender Affairs. Former Minister of Devolution and Planning within Nairobi County in the Republic of Kenya, being the acting director of finance, NYF, within the said ministry, used the said office to improperly confer benefit to which <coughs> Kenya shillings 23 million 415,000 to Kujiwa Enterprises by approving the said payment. True or not true, Wellington again will go. Count number 16. <coughs> The charge is for Wellington again Rubira. Mm -hmm. The charge is fraudulent make, fraudulently making payments from public revenues for goods not supplied, contrary to section 45, subsection 2, as to as read in section 48 <coughs> of the Anti-Corruption and Economic Crimes Act number 3, 2003. The, the particulars are on diverse dates between 4th November 2016 and 12th May 2017 in Nairobi within the Republic of Kenya, being the acting director of finance and alternate AIE holder at the National Youth Service, NYS, in the Ministry of Public Service, Youth and Gender Affairs, formerly the Ministry of Evolution and Planning, being a person whose function concerned management of public funds and the approved payment of Kenya shillings 23 million 415,000 to Kujiwa Enterprises from public revenue for goods not supplied. True or not true when it comes again with the bill.
So I was just bringing to the court's attention in relation to an accused person who is in court, the name Julius Ayuno, count 18. This case is one that we continue to follow up on you very keenly at the Milimani Law Courts. And uh, I want us to now take a quick break. When we get back, Robinson Okenye will be taking us through what's big in the world of sports. Don't go too far. Mm -hmm. 